Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily chat GBT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Webflow and seeing how that can integrate with Zapier and AI. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning visitor, I hope you learned something new in today's video as we are going back to tackling the 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend. And today we're looking at the app of Webflow and more specifically how we can integrate ChatGPT with that. If you're not familiar with this series, essentially the goal here of Cafe AI is we're going to tackle all 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend and see how AI can be integrated with every single one. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Webflow. All right, let's go ahead and rename this to Webflow Integration here. And the goal and purpose of what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to be building out a flow that when a lead comes in from a form submission, we're going to set up a AI generated email response that is going to be drafted. You're going to learn a bunch about contexting, a bunch about parameter and a bunch about prompting when it comes to using AI with Zapier. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch this to a visual editor as that is what I prefer here. And we're going to go ahead and do Webflow. And before we proceed, let's go ahead and create that pseudo data of a form submission. So let's jump over to our agency website here. As you know, Web Cafe AI is an AI automation solutions agency where we integrate AI automation into businesses. And for today, we're going to go ahead and just fill out a pseudo form here. So we're going to go ahead and put in the name Jim Tom and we can put in our courses email real quick. All right, so we put our email there. We're going to put in our courses website URL. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and input a message. Let's just say we are a dog walking company and want to learn of ways to make our social media more effective at getting traffic. Go ahead and hit submit here. And then from here, the submission has been received and then pushed into Webflow's backend. Now that we have the pseudo data we're going to play around with, we're going to go ahead and create a new event here. We're going to do form submission. We're going to hit continue here. We're going to choose our web cafe AI. Then we're going to choose the form name, which is going to be email form for us. We're going to hit continue here and we're going to test this action. As you see there, we got our submission that just came up here from Jim Tom and our course's email. So that's perfect. We're going to go ahead and continue with that selected record here and we're going to build out our chat GBT block. So we're going to hit chat GBT here. We're going to do conversation. Continue, continue. Now, the more data that you have in the original form, the better contextual output from chat GBT you will receive. So our goal here when structuring this prompt is going to give as much context as possible in order to ensure the most effective type of email to be set up as a draft. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to go, go ahead and say based off this lead semicolon. We're going to go ahead and put name, website, and we're going to put message. And then for every single one of these, we're going to input the data that was given. So we're going to go ahead and do Jim Tom website. We're going to go ahead and put in the website here. And then the message, we're going to go ahead and put in that as well. Shift enter, enter. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and give context. Web Cafe AI is an AI automation agency that provides AI as a service. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit generate here. We're gonna say generate the email body as a response to this lead. Make sure to include semicolon. And then we're gonna basically put what you wanna include, whatever contextual data you wanna include that you typically comes up with email responses when it comes to potential leads on your Webflow site. So for us, it may be typically it takes one to two weeks to implement AI automation and we can handle all AI automation on our backend. So you don't have to worry about AI usage or cost. And we add a parameter block here. Now I want to say just as reference, it's going to get a lot more complex. We could input variable data into the contextual data being used here. Maybe it's live data on your business backend that is actively updated and we can grab that data through a webhook API call. But for purposes of today's video, we're just going to do a simple fixed text here as the contextual data of the underlying business. And parameter, we're just going to get to say uh, max 
four sentences because sometimes GPT likes to build out whole essays uh, for responses, which is not fun. So we're gonna say max four sentences. And then we're gonna say generate just the body, no text before or after. We keep the username, we can keep all this as default. We're gonna go ahead and upper model to GPT-4 here as this is gonna allow us to do more comprehensive work here. We're gonna do email, web flow as our memory key. Memory keys ensure consistent outputs so that you know one time it doesn't just shoot out one of a quotation mark, another time it shoots out with an emoji. No, 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 we want it this way every single time and only changing based off the variable data that we've inputted. We'll go ahead and hit test action and see what it comes up with. All right, perfect. So as you see here, it referred to the name, Dear Jim Tom. Thank you for reaching out. We can definitely help you ramp up your social media impact by optimizing AI automation. It typically takes around one to two weeks to fully integrate services, but once complete, we handle all AI back in operation so you don't have to need to concern yourself with AI usage or costs. Together, we can increase traffic to your dog walking business. Took the context of the underlying form, took the context of how we trained it when it comes to the business data we're dealing with. So now we have a good email body so from here we're gonna go ahead and create another block and we're gonna go ahead and create a block of a gmail block and essentially we're going to create a draft we're going to continue here and we're gonna choose our courses account so we can just send it to ourselves. and we're gonna hit continue here and one thing i want to point out is make sure to check out our delay video when it comes to our playlist here as we show why delay could be important in this context and uh, specifically a delay block from here, we can go ahead and add a just fixed subject. So Web Cafe uh, AI helps with streamlining processes. And then we can do the two is going to be the underlying email that was input into the form. And then you can add a punch information when it comes to Gmail blocks for now. That is not too important for us. We're going to go ahead and input that conversation we received from ChatGPT and I implore you to learn how to structure better when it comes to chat GBT and HTML outputs as sometimes when you're dealing with bodies and emails, a HTML output can actually look a lot more effective to the underlying user due to the folding and, and formatting of the underlying text. But for today's video, we're just going to do a simple body type of plane and you can add a signature, a label and an attachment. So if you have a potential lead form, you want to attach here a free, you know, digital PDF that explains more context to your business, you can be able to add it here. From here though, you can go ahead and continue and test this action. Now that we have tested that action, you'll see it shows up in our draft here. We're able to simply click on it and we have the fixed text subject line. We have the variable chat GPT output put here as well. We could have added a signature to this email and so on and so forth. It also goes as far as having the correct email into the two like we've identified. If we jump back over to our Zapier flow real quick, I also wanna point out that essentially a good rule of thumb and something to understand is that yes this is your variable body but there's no reason you couldn't add fixed text here so that this shows up in every email such as this regards corbin brown so on and so forth and you can kind of manipulate the data that way if you feel like you learned something make sure to like the video it's completely free and it helps us share web cafe ai if you found this video informative and you want to learn a lot more when it comes to ai and automation and how to use chat gbt in specific context when dealing with different data points make sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're diving into all 5,000 apps found on zapier's backend and showing you how to integrate ai with every single one without further ado i'll see you in the next video thanks for tuning in and yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.